Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. An NYPD officer just made his first appearance in court this morning. 38 year old Randy Jones was just arraigned on charges of murder and attempted robbery. Last night, hundreds of fellow officers stood solemnly and saluted outside of Brookdale Hospital as the body of 26 year old NYPD officer Adid Fayez was brought to the medical examiner. He died yesterday afternoon. A memorial service is being planned for Officer Fayez in the coming days. I want to use reporter NJ Burke. It is live at the criminal court in downtown Brooklyn with the very latest on the court proceedings there. NJ. Yeah, right. Brooklyn Criminal Court, where the suspect appeared before the judge about 90 minutes ago in a courtroom packed to the walls with more than 100 New York City police officers. Their presence, their silence spoke volumes about a department that is devastated by this murder. Well, Randy Jones stood before the judge in white coveralls and said nothing. 38 years old with a long arrest record, charged with the first degree murder of a New York City police officer. Officer Adid Fayaz was 26 years old assigned to the 66th precinct, leaves behind a wife and two young children. Trauma surgeon struggled for nearly three days to save his life, but the gunshot wound was too severe, too devastating. Hundreds of officers stood at attention outside Brookdale Hospital as his body was carried to an NYPD ambulance last night, draped in the department's blue, green, and white flag. The officer was off duty, shot on Saturday night after he and his brother-in-law answered an ad on Facebook Marketplace for a Honda Odyssey minivan. Police say Jones demanded money and shot Officer Fayez in the struggle that followed. Well, as I said, officers packed the courtroom this morning as Jones was arraigned. At one point, the judge actually stopped stopped speaking and glared at Jones and shook his head in apparent disgust. Mayor Adams spoke of the defendant on morning television. When we heard of the shooting, even before we knew who the shooter was, I said, I bet you the person has an extensive criminal record. The guy has an extensive criminal record. The revolving door recidivism that you're seeing in not only New York, but our country is impacting how we keep our city safe. Randy Jones was ordered held without bail by the judge. His legal aid attorney released a statement just moments ago saying in part, quote, while we recognize this is a difficult time for the family and the NYPD, Randy Jones is entitled to the presumption of innocence. They say they will have more to say in the coming days and weeks. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.